Hi Sam, this is Daniel from Celtic Manor Golf Academy. Um, just giving you a few little notes and tips on our lesson today. So what we've been working on lately is obviously trying to cure the, the shot that starts right of the target and he's getting quite a high ball flight so that's telling us that the club is attacking very much from the inside so obviously we've done a lot of work on setup position so far uh, from previous lessons you've had here so setup starting to look really really good now getting into a really strong and athletic position so what we'll look at is I've, I've just compared you to Adam Scott here on the right hand side of the screen just so we can have a little look at what's happening with, uh, with his waist and the bottom part of his body on the backswing so as we start to move the club away, so we see the, the golf club is moving away quite well. But as we start to get into a position where the club gets about chest height, we'll start to see how your right leg is really starting to straighten and the right hip is really moving backwards. So you can actually see here now at the top of the backswing, we can actually see a small gap in between your in, in between your legs there. So that's really shown how the right leg is really locked up and like I say that right hip has really really moved back so what we see then is the club actually gets quite a long way behind you and as we're going to start the downswing from this position we're really really going to get that club stuck sort of in behind us and we're just going to struggle to recover so we can see here now we can see the arm position here so we can really see a lot of that right arm here and the left arm there's a big gap in there so that's telling us that the club is really attacking from the inside there so that's going to start the ball to the right of the target going to give us sometimes quite a high ball flight and if we recover it with our hands then we're going to see a little bit of a hook flight in there as well so that's where the the faults are coming from so if we just look at Adam Scott on the on the right here so we just see as he takes the club away you can see he's pretty stable with that right side of his body now. So weight staying on the inside of the right foot, flex in the right knee, and maybe only sort of 45 degrees of hip rotation opposed to your maybe 70 degrees of hip rotation. So like I say, that gets the club a little bit stuck behind us on the top of the backswing there. So we can we can really see that there. There's no gap in uh, in Adam's legs there, so that we can't see through there and obviously uh, much more stability than you're creating at the top of the backswing. So as we start to swing the golf club down, so Sam you'll see obviously we'll get to that position where the club's stuck and obviously we shouldn't really be able to see that, that huge gap in there, that tells us the club's really attacking from the inside. So if we move Adam down now, now you'll see his arms will work on a, on a plane that's working much more down our target line so if we sort of stop you in the same place now we can start to see how less of a gap here the arms are starting now to swing down the line a lot better so Adam's got a good line of swing down the target and obviously you're a little bit stuck on the inside so what we really need to try and do is just stabilize that that right side on the on the backswing keep the weight on the inside of the right foot stable with the legs and the hips and that in turn will help us then to follow a much better line on the through swing. Keep practicing Sam and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the academy soon. Take care.